Telecent Europe became all digital and I think all digital is uh, perfectly reflecting our new vision to enable uh, people, communities and organizations to uh, benefit from the digital transformation. With the, all those job opportunities, opportunities that are in the ICT sector and following a, a report from the European Commission, more than 900,000 new job opportunities will be out there in Europe. So we want to be ready for that and we're talking about everybody. There are many skills which you need to uh, participate in digital innovation processes uh, and uh, they are not only technological. So we're talking about um, managing diverse teams, we're talking about managing in a, in a flatter hierarchy, we're talking about managing different kinds of roles, and we're actually talking about having a culture that is actually digitally adaptable and more flexible. If you don't have these digital skills, you cannot contribute to create new spaces for learning, for health, for justice, for democracy, for the economy, for anything. So this is why digital skills are good. It's not to be employed, it's about participating, not only participating in society, but participating in the design of the new society. We enjoyed everything during those two days, starting from the location of the summit, uh, empowering people that we met during the panel discussions yesterday, um, professionals working in the digital world. El tema de poder fer networking amb gent de la nostra professió i de veure d'altres realitats de la comun de d'altres comunitats o d'altres països fins i tot. Tots aquests projectes todos los que he estado participando en los workshops, me parece que son proyectos muy interesantes y muy importantes para implementar en el digital. So I would encourage all the all digital centers to look at open badges, think about ways in which you can have the minimum viable badge and you can really scaffold um, people's development of skills and behaviours and knowledge. I think the challenge in order to, to improve uh, this process uh, is really to get in touch with all the actors involved in this uh, and again not just the technological actors but also the NGO, the civil society, the activists, uh, the human rights uh, uh, advocacies, etc. Uh, I like the idea of the virtual telecenter, that is we have a telecenter, it's not a place, it's a group of people, it's a group of knowledge, it's a network that can connect wherever people are. En aquests moments eh, creiem que la tecnologia no només ha de ser una eina de, de millora de qualitat de vida o, o, de, o de millora de productivitat en els entorns més laborals, sinó que ha de ser una, una eina que realment permeti al ciutadà empoderar-se i ser el propi eh, dissenyador del seu futur. attended back in 2009 in Istanbul and uh, I clearly remember uh, when I arrived there practically I knew no one and there was you know first couple of days uh, alone but now I can I can say that this network is a big a big uh, a big family. I really want to wish all digital access Center Europe many many years to come in the future and I really do hope that I will be here to give you the chance to interview me for the 20th celebration. And in all digital I found, you know, most reliable project partners. I don't have, since 2010, I don't have to look for partners anywhere else. They are all in all digital. So thank you all digital. Long live all digital. <laughs>